Good morning, Algebra 2. Here we go. I gotta keep track of what order I'm doing these in. Um, so when I upload them, I know what order they are on my SD card. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, here we are. Monday. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice week. I think tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful. Um, Kind of excited making some uh, making some moves in the shop. I got some things moved around. I got a new table saw moved in. Got seven or five new benches brought in. We're installing another saw today. Um, I can't spend much time there because I'm not essential personnel. Whatever, man. Okay. So today. I had some questions, and I think that the questions were great, were warranted. Uh, we're going to practice a couple of those today. Um, got a different way we can kind of do some things. Um, so, <clears throat> so let's go over the answers from the other day. First of all, a rational exponent. Remember that this was 8 to the 1 fifth, same thing as the fifth root of 8. This was a to the 3 fourths, same thing as fourth root of a to the third. This one was a square root of 17, which is the same thing as 17 to the 1 half. And this was the third root of 5xy squared, okay? Third root is the same thing as the 1 third power. So on 24, we've had questions on all three of these. And 29, okay, so we're going to work on those a little bit today. Um, it's 27. This just means it's the cube root of 27, Okay, so if I was going to look at how I could break up 27, so I'd have something times itself three times, well, if we take a look at the factoring of this, the prime factorization, we just go 3 times 3 times 3 gives me 27. So we've got a trio of things, and that would give me the cube root of 27 is 3. Okay, now 26, here's what we'll take a look at. This, um, this negative exponent, let's deal with it in two steps. We're going to go 16 to the 1 half, and then we'll, we will flip that over. So 16 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 16, which is 4. So that takes care of the positive 1 half exponent. Now we've got this negative exponent we've got to deal with. The negative exponent flips things, so then that'll flip it over to one-fourth. Okay, oh, before I forget, please make sure you're ass, ass, ass wow, jeepers. Um, asking, uh, not asking, you're accessing my videos through Canvas, please. Um, there is a Canvas app that really is, is pretty slick. Um, so, um... So the reason why I want you to do that is it keeps track of how often and how long you're spending in the canvas, in my classroom, I should say. And then at the end of every week, I need to go ahead and make a list of, um, of who's turning, or the, what percentage, like say this week I had um, um, 18 out of 95 people not turn in what I wanted them to this week, and I had 12 out of 95 not enter my classroom in Canvas this week. Now I'm hoping that some of those are, are accessing via um, uh, YouTube, but I really need you guys uh, accessing through Canvas, please. Again, there's a really nice Canvas app, and you could actually even, uh, I can show you, oh yeah, hey, there's my key code. Um, oh, hold on. You don't want to see that. Um, little conversation with somebody that you don't need to see. Just my wife. She's mad at something at work. Okay, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we at here? Um, yeah, there's a Canvas student, and it actually works really well. It looks looks a lot like what you're um, doing from the rest of it, and. Um, and so I would encourage you to use that. One thing I will show you here real quick too is we have a dog that's getting adopted this week and um, she is um, gonna have a huge backyard. Um, good girl. 
and I think that not only is this going to be good for the dog, but the owner is um, is a young lady who um, who can benefit from having a great dog. It's going to be a growth experience for everybody involved. So anyway, so um, stop that. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I need you to access it through Canvas, please, 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 please. Okay, so 81 to the one fourth power. So don't worry about the negative exponent at first. We're going to do 81 to the one fourth power, the fourth root of 81, which is three. And how could we know that? We could do the same thing here that we did with um, with the 27. Break it down, and you'll find out it's made up of four threes. So the fourth root is three. And now we'll just go ahead and take care of the negative exponent, and I have 3, 1 over 3. Okay. Bottom line, a negative exponent is just going to make it a fraction when you're done. And we'll, we'll, we're going to practice that here in just a little bit. Okay. Um, so 29, I've got r 3 v over 4 pi, uh, all raised to the 1 third power. So if I plug in 77, find my radius. Now this one we're not going to be able to do without a calculator. There's no way. Um, so I've got 3 times 77 over 4 pi, and then we're all done with that. We're going to take the third root of that, which is the same thing as raising to the 1 third power. Um, 3 times 77, um, I'm going to divide that by 4, and divide that by pi. Remember that we have to um, divide by everything on the bottom. If you would have went divided by 4 times pi, it would have put the pi back up top, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and raise that to the one third power, 2.639, or okay? Um, and I'm just gonna double check, make sure that that is the right answer on that problem. Um, yeah, yep, there you go, okay? So again, make sure you're, you're careful about uh, taking that divided by 4 and divided by pi, or put the 4 pi in parentheses. Okay. So 30 was x to the 11 fifteenths. So I'm going to practice a couple that are going to be a little bit more challenging. That um, This just pays off down the road. Okay. So if I have 8 to the 2 thirds, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, well, let's go like this. I'm going to take 8, I'm going to take the 1 third root, 1 third power, I mean, or the third root, takes me to 2, and then I'm going to square it, and it takes me to 4. Okay? So, the third root is what take me to the, took me to the 2, and then I'm going to square it, it takes me to the 4. Okay? So if I do something like this, um, 8 to the 4 thirds, well, I'm going to start at 8, I'm going to go down to 2, because I cube root it, and I get to 2, and then I'm going to raise it to the 4th power, which gives me to 16. And let's say if it was negative four thirds, then I would just turn that 16 into 1 16th. Okay? Root it, power it, flip it if you need to. Okay? So if I did something like this, 25 raised to the negative 3 halves, well, here we go. I'm going to start with 25, I'm going to square root it, because that's what this means, square root. And then I'm going to cube it, that's what that means, cube it, so I get 125. And then I'm going to flip it, because that's what that means, is flip it. Okay? 1 over 125. Okay? So let's do just a couple more, because I know that these can be kind of uh, funky funky. Let's go 5 halves. Let's go 4 to the negative 5 halves. So I'm going to take the square root of 4 is 2. Okay? So I've done that part. Now I'm going to take it to the 5th power, which is... 32. So I've done that part. And now I'm going to take it to the negative 1 exponent, which means to flip it. Okay? Maybe that's one thing you can do, is just cross out everything as you go. Okay? Just a little chain reaction here. So if I'm going to do one last one, let's go 16 raised to the negative 3 fourths equals, well, I'm going to start at 16, and I'm going to fourth root it. One number times itself four times gives me 16. That number would be 2. Now I've got a cubit. 2 times self three times gives me 8. Now I've got to go ahead and take it to the negative 1 exponent, which means to flip it, and that gives me 1 eighth. Okay? So I think that will suffice.
And I've got a couple um, a couple examples like that for you today uh, and in your assignment. So here's what I want to show you, 428, numbers. i got to hurry up and get this done so I can get it uploaded. Um, my goal is like 9, 30, it's not going to happen today. Let's go 10. Um, 428, 71 through 77, ACT review, 79 through 83, odd, and 87. And then we're going to do page 432. Numbers 1, 2, and 80 through 82. There we go. Have a great day, folks. Let's have a great week. Um, oh, I think there's a little squirrel out here. Oh, you can't see him anymore. He's on the tree. Let's see if we can focus in on him. Oh, is he on the back side of the tree? Where is he? Zoom. Oh, and of course, uh, and I can't, uh, well, it's, it, uh, it only, it, I need to clean my window evidently. It doesn't look like it. Oh, well, okay. So, here we go, folks. Get that done uh, for tomorrow. Questions and comments in the comment section. Please leave me a comment of some sort today. Um, whether it be Rex Road, you're bald or Jack Salkin's a dork, or whatever. Leave me some sort of comment. Um, I, find I miss my contact with my students, and that helps me get through this time. Oh, by the way, 432, one and two, I haven't taught you how to do that. I bet you you can do that without any instruction. We're gonna come back, we're gonna teach that a little bit more tomorrow, okay?